This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research to talk about world-class benchmarking for the company called Vistaland and Lifescapes Incorporated in the Philippines. So let's take a little bit of a look at this company and understand the background. First of all, Vistaland and Lifescapes is a Philippine-based home builder and property developer with more than 300,000 homes built and a land bank of over 2,400 hectares. Wow, 76% of which is in Mega Manila area. It operates in 36 provinces across the country and it offers affordable residential properties which account for about 70% of revenue. The company's ticker code is VLL. Market cap is about 1.4 billion US dollars with about a million dollars in average daily turnover. Beta is 0.9. It's in the financial sector rated in the industry real estate. So let's take a look at what's going on or what this company does. First of all, they have five big brands. The brand Communities Philippines sells low-cost, affordable residential properties outside Mega Manila at prices from 20000 to 80000 US dollars. This brand accounts for 45% of revenue in 2015. Camella caters to the low-cost segment in Mega Manila with prices from 20000 to 80000 and accounted for 25% of 2015 revenue. The company has three brands in the mid to luxury segments. One is Crown Asia. This is homes for the middle income segment in Mega Manila and it's priced between 80,000 and 200,000 US dollars. The Brittany brand offers luxury houses in master planned communities for the high end segment in Mega Manila at prices of 200,000 and greater. Wow. And the Vista Residences provides residential commercial condominium units at prices from 40000 to 360000 U.S. dollars. By the end of 2015, VLL acquired an 88% stake in Star Malls, a pretty good decision, I think, a company that's focused on retail real estate such as shopping malls for the Filipino mass market that carries its own name, Star Mall. Star Malls is shown to be an important growth driver for VLL as its revenue and net grew by more than 70% in first half 2016. Now the company, let's look at the revenue breakdown. What we can see is Communities Philippines 45%, Star Mall 9%, Camela 25%, Crown Asia 5%, Vista Residences 12% and Brittany 4%. Again, this is revenue breakdown by brand for 2015. Now that we understand the company, let's look at its world-class benchmarking performance. First of all, we can see that the chairman, Manuel, Manuel, he has been there since 1973. Oh my goodness, from the beginning. And another Manuel is there since July 2011. So the family obviously controls the business. Now let's see the performance. Well, what we can see is that the performance is ranked number four. That's slightly above average on a world-class benchmarking score. That means VLL ranks better than 210 of 350 medium-sized real estate companies worldwide. Now, if we look at the profitability, we can see that the profitable growth comes from both profitability ROA and growth, EPS growth. Profitability has been number four since 2015. Growth fell to number seven in the past 12 months. Now, if we go down and look deeper, we can see that profit margin is the strength on the profitability side. Right now, it's ranked at number three. And on the growth side, sales, <clears throat> sales have fallen while margin change has improved to a number three. So sales is the weakness on the growth side and margin change is the strength up to number three. Do you want to see the profitable growth rank for a company in your portfolio? Well, leave a comment below with a company name and a country of listing and I'll post it if I have it.